Hello. Another exciting one today. Grumpy Lumberjack is going to be at the sawmill sawing cherry. I'm going to take a dried piece of cherry and I'm going to make a Kirkland dupe. I saw some Kirkland signs and they were like 45 bucks. I thought, hmm. I could make my own and make them a little bit of extra on cherry. And you, <laughs> yes you, need to stay tuned to this video. You have a chance to win a hundred bucks. Woohoo! The winner will be drawn Wednesday, November 10th, right before Christmas. Stay tuned for details. Let's go. Another thirty dollars. And you got to open them up, and you got to turn them inside out. Because for some strange reason, whenever, whenever they make them at the factory, they're always inside out. They have to, they, the teeth are pointing the wrong way, so I got to open them here, and, and uh, I'm gonna open them on the grass here, so they don't like it, and the dirt and the stones. And when you put it on, the teeth are going the wrong way, so you got to go like this. You got to turn them inside out. You grab it like that, and you give her a big flip. Green side up. You know what? I should be changing these belts too. These belts are getting tore. Huh? See that little tear there? That oh makes, yeah. I got. I got. That's hard to get. Up. I got to get these are tight belts to get off. Just a minute. Uh, so I can just get. I should have a bigger screwdriver, but yeah, this one's going. Okay, uh, that one's off. See the see the tear in that belt? Yeah, well, that's well. almost broken, anyways. Yes, yeah, so that's that's no good. But even little, uh, just little things like that don't make it run true. like a tire if you start, start the first part's tight once it starts going and then it comes off oh it's almost well oh, you bugger i know if I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get her here we're gonna get her right here there that's piece up there too they usually go on better than they come off but It won't go on right now because the tension's still on there. You have to slacken this off here. Slacken that off. Ooh, bugs are eating. Ooh. That should be close there. Let's see if we can get it on there. Ooh. Hungry, hungry bugs. Okay, that's on. Now you gotta make sure it's straight on the backs of the. Every once in a while I'll check the levels. I haven't done that for a while too, so I'm gonna get this on here tight. I'm gonna put it ahead and I'm gonna put it down on a on a level and make sure it's sitting. Sometimes it's up a little higher on one side. I'm just gonna. <coughs> I'm just gonna come down there to the end, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay a straight edge across here, and make sure everything. <laughs> you, you can. They have manual ones too, but that's a lot handier than trying to do it by hand all the time. All of them guys that go to sawmill, they, they all got a Popeye arm on. They got one great big arm lifting up and down all the time. I'm from to the finish, but I eat the finish. I'm Popeye the sailor man. That's not the right tension for her, I think, but... It's a little bit out of whack, it's a little bit high, and I, I'm, I gotta go down just a hair more. It's pretty close, so it's not too bad, but... I should do a little more. 
it's just about right there and this one's pretty good yeah that may be a little bit too tight I should go back a bit there's a lot of tinker in these old mills you have to keep things straight and level and you're gonna have problems not like the old circular blades you just hit them them size maybe you get them pounded once in four or five years rather than that these are these blades are pretty finicky they're not very thick and they if they get tipping down too much or up sometimes you got to move this thing up a little bit so that things if this thing's up in the air but it looks like it's not too bad there right or yeah. else you're gonna start breaking blades premature or something wrong with it it's not it's not running true or okay in a collaboration today with a bunch of amazing artists. The host is Brandy at the DIY Struggle. She's hilarious. She has great videos and great DIYs. We are all getting together and doing a Kirkland dupe. You have a chance to win a hundred bucks. What you do is there's a playlist. You jump from video to video. You watch the playlist. You answer their question and you have a chance to win a hundred bucks. Dragon's Breath. What is Dragon's Breath? It's science and art mixed together. It is magic. It's like a thick jelly. You stipple it on, you let it dry, nothing happens. Nothing. But then you heat activate it and it magically turns into a wood burning. Let's go. So you open it up. I like to use it with a stencil brush and I stipple it on. Stippling is just pouncing up and down so it doesn't run under the stencil. I do have a bad habit of smooshing like little circles. It can run under your stencil. Do as I say, <laughs> not as I do. I'm gonna try to stipple. So it's pretty thick. I really like the consistency. I like to use the lid as a palette. So I just put a wee little bit on and I actually remove most of it. I don't want the brush drenched in it because it will run under the stencil. Okay. I think 
think I've got everywhere. I got this stencil from Amazon. I missed this whole word here. Off ad moments. Fear, uncertainty, doubt. I have them every single DIY. I've never done a wood burning on cherry. Is it gonna work? Is this gonna look good? What am I gonna do? All those just stall me in my tracks. But that inner off ad moment does not stall me for long. My question is, what is your off ad moment? What holds you back? And how do you get through it? In the comments below. The tree is good. I'm gonna let it dry for 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna heat activate it and watch the magic appear right before your eyes. Today, I'm using Wagner's heat gun. It's a 1000 watt. Let's go. I know where I'd rather be tonight I know where I'd rather be tonight Playing with fire with you Playing with fire with you I'm tired of being in love and on my own I'm tired of being in love and all alone I'm also participating in Heidi Songo's Christmas DIY challenge Heidi is a good friend She's inspiring, creative, and she gives back to this community so much. Go check her out. Check out the playlist. You will not be disappointed. Hey, don't forget to enter the draw. You could be a winner winner. Chicken dinner. Love you. Bye.